Thirteen soldiers of the Russian army surrendered to Ukrainian fighters near the city of Sudza, Kursk region of Russia. Footage of the surrender of the Russians was shared by the command of the Ukrainian ground forces. The Russian soldiers who were sent from the front in Ukraine to Kursk and fought for five days announced their intention to surrender by raising a white flag when the Russian soldiers did not receive any support from the command and were left without food, water and ammunition. Among the servicemen, mainly from Yakutia, four were seriously injured. Recall, Uller, aptured soldiers said they'd received as little as one week of training before being sent to the front. Food and water were limited, and often, they had to buy supplies with their own money, they said. Many complained about the leadership of their officers, who, they said, didn't participate in the costly assaults. Last month Ukrainian security service unit operating in Russia's Kursk region took 102 Russian servicemen as prisoners of war, according to a person with knowledge of the operation, who asked not to be identified because the matter is sensitive. The Russians were captured in a sprawling underground complex, and had ample stocks of ammunition and supplies, the person said. Eight civilians have been injured, one critically, in an attack on the Russian city of Belgorod, according to regional governor Vyacheslav Gladkov. In a message on Telegram, Gladkov said the city was attacked by Ukrainian shelling early on Monday, which also damaged properties and cars. Russian state TV broadcaster RURTR showed footage of the aftermath of the attack, with local residents describing how windows in their homes were shattered and cars burnt out. When we looked out the window, there was no more entrance at our neighbor's home, all under rubble. We ran to search for them. Thank God, all are alive, said one resident. Belgorod lies 40 kilometers north of the Ukrainian border and 670 kilometers south of Moscow. Footage released on local telegram channels shared footage of burning cars and damaged buildings in the city. Official Kiev has not commented on the attack yet. Belgorod region authorities have repeatedly accused Ukraine of launching attacks against the region throughout the full-scale invasion by Russia. Recently, multiple clashes have been reported in the region amid Ukraine's ongoing cross-border incursion focused on neighboring Kursk region. Прятались в ванной, слышим окна от стен, распахиваются окна сами по себе, и дым повалил. Он выскакивает на улицу, потому что пройти нельзя было, потому что она прилетела в коридор сюда. А оно так взрывается? Когда мы вот отсюда в окошко посмотрели, у соседей вот там ход, входа не было, все, он был заван. Естественно, все, начали, побежали их искать. Слава Богу.
пока вот дом отдыхает. Mm -hmm. 